The measurement of several markers of blood lactate accumulation during a submaximal graded exercise test is considered standard assessment of endurance-based athletes. Essentially, the key markers that can be identified in these tests are considered key markers of endurance performance potential and include measurement of the lactate threshold, the lactate turn point, the onset of blood lactate accumulation and the maximal lactate steady state value, to name a few. However, by far the most common markers of blood lactate accumulation that are measured as part of routine assessment of endurance athletes are the lactate threshold, defined as the first sudden and sustained increase in blood lactate accumulation above baseline values, and the lactate turn point, described as the second sudden and sustained increase in blood lactate accumulation above baseline values. Both parameters can be measured during an incremental exercise test. A test like this should include approximately five to seven stages, each with a duration of three to four minutes. The exercise intensity should increase progressively in both running and cycle tests. An increment of approximately 1.5 km per hour should be used in running tests and an increment of approximately 30 watts should be used during cycle tests. The starting intensity of the test will depend on several factors, particularly the training history of the athlete. For example, an inexperienced runner may begin a test at 9 km per hour whereas a runner with world-class potential may begin the test at 15 km per hour. A small blood sample should be taken during a short pause at the end of each stage. Oxygen uptake and heart rate value should also be collected and averaged over the final minute of each stage. Following each blood sample, the intensity is increased and the process begins again. At the end of the test, the test administrator will be able to plot the blood lactate heart rate and oxygen uptake responses to each exercise intensity covered during the test. This is known as a lactate profile. More importantly, the administrator will know the exercise intensity, heart rate and oxygen uptake values associated with the lactate threshold and the lactate turn point. Hence, an athlete may choose to train at heart rate value above those associated with the lactate threshold in order to improve the lactate threshold. This results in a classic rightward shift of the lactate profile curve. Additionally, an assessment of exercise economy can also be made during this test. This test is also popular for jointly determining lactate threshold, lactate turn point, the onset of blood lactate accumulation, exercise economy and VO2 max.